Welcome to the world of fermentation technology. Friends, this discussion is regarding medium optimization. This talk is a part of NMEICD project entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by the MHRD, Government of India. Let us begin with introduction. Fermentation industry require particular product from given organisms. Only particular product is not important, but it should be produced in large quantities. For the production of huge amount of particular product, either medium formulation is proper or there should be improvement in organism. Medium optimization is a process where components of medium or different conditions either varied in concentration or changed so that we can get better growth of the organisms for high productivity. Different combinations and sequences of process conditions need to investigate to determine the growth conditions which produce the biomass with the physiological state best constituted for product formation. There may be a sequence of phases each with a specific set of optimal conditions. Now we are starting with different methods for fermentation medium optimization. Different techniques are 1. Borrowing 2. Component replacing 3. Biological memory 4. One factor at a time 5. Factor real design 6. Plaquette German design 7. Response surface methodology 8. Evolutionary operation 9. Evolutionary operation factor real design 10. Artificial neural network 11. Genetic algorithm. Let us discuss each in detail. First, borrowing. It is an open-ended system where all the medium components used for analysis of product formation taken from the different authors. It is very easy to see the ingredients of particular media from various authors, but there are so many options, and one has to select the appropriate medium for particular fermentation process. Second, component replacing. It is also an open-ended system for process optimization. Ingredients of the different fermentation medium compared and others replace few of the components. With this method, we cannot get idea about interaction of different medium components, but different medium component like carbon, nitrogen and other sources screen for medium optimization. Third, biological mimicry. In this method, different elemental composition required by the microbes for its best growth is studied. Medium formulation based on the composition and exact amount of components required by microorganisms. Such type of medium gives best growth and high yield of product, but this process is time consuming and expensive. It is not easy to analyze the elemental composition of microbes. It is a close-ended system where component interactions cannot study or one factor at a time. It is also a close-ended system for medium optimization process. In this method, optimization of medium carried out by changing any one of the ingredients of the medium while keeping all other parameter as it is. It is time-consuming and difficult to study the interactions among the medium ingredients. This method is useful for study of only few medium ingredients or parameters, as it requires large number of experimental sets which is again time consuming and expensive. This method is very popular, as it is easy and suitable for given medium at a time. Fifth, Factor Real Design. Factor Real Design is a close-ended system for optimization of medium. This method involves variation in factors or parameters at two or more levels. Factor real design is highly efficient in providing interaction among various factors and allow us to study effect if each factor and its interactions giving maximum yield. In this process equation is used that will provide information regarding particular factors like strain, medium components, and other physical parameters and their interactions that can change yield. Make a full factor real search which would examine each possible combination of independent variable at appropriate levels, could require a large number of experiments, X-rays to N, where X is the number of levels, 
and n is the number of variables. This may be quite appropriate for three nutrients at two concentrations to raise two three trials but not for six nutrients at three concentrations. When investigation is for more than five independent variables, the plaquette berman design used to find the most important variables in a system, which is then optimized in further studies. Different combinations and sequences of process conditions need to investigate to determine the growth conditions which produce the biomass with the physiological state best constituted for product formation. There may be a sequence of phases each with a specific set of optimal conditions. Any factors not assigned to a variable designated as a dummy variable. Alternatively, factors known to not have any effect may be included and designated as dummy variables. The incorporation of dummy variables into an experiment makes it possible to estimate the variance of an effect experimental error. This procedure will identify the important variables and allow them to rank in order of importance to decide which to investigate in a more detailed study to determine the optimum value to use. The next stage in medium optimization would be to determine the optimum level of each key independent variable, which identified by the plaquette berman design using response optimization techniques, which is introduced by Box and Wilson. Seventh, Response Surface Methodology Not only different variables, but also their quantities is important in formulating medium for optimal growth of organisms, giving high yield. It is a statistical experiment design, which provides information regarding quantity of various variable, used in plaquette berman method. Clear response is the yield of product when particular quantity of various variables is used. Here mathematical calculations used for the combinations of quantities of various parameters and its effect, which gives result which is plotted, and model is prepared by which one can predict the amount of variables for the medium optimization. 8. Evolutionary Operation It is method for obtaining high yield by using factor real design serially, while changing variables of media, used in factor real design, until improvement in the result is greater than the estimated values. 9. Evolutionary Operation Factor Real Design this methodology is a hybrid of evolutionary operation and factor real design technique. This methodology is multivariable sequential search technique where the effects of n variable factors are studied and response is analyzed statistically which enable the selection of optimum conditions for individual parameters for planning of following experiments. Second, component replacing. It is also an open-ended system for process optimization. Ingredients of the different fermentation medium, compared and others replace few of the components. With this method, we cannot get ideas about interaction of different medium components, but different medium components like carbon, nitrogen and other sources screen for medium optimization. Let us begin with introduction. Fermentation industry require particular product from given organisms. Only particular product is not important, but it should be produced in large quantities. For the production of huge amount of particular product, either medium formulation is proper or there should be improvement in organism. Medium optimization is a process where components of medium or different conditions either varied in concentration or changed so that we can get better growth of the organisms for high productivity. Conclusion Media formulation or optimization is tedious and never-ending process. Each technique discussed above has its own merits and demerits. However, 
Only one method is not useful in designing media formulation or optimization. Nowadays hybrid techniques used for the medium optimization as well as process optimization.